Everyone wants to learn things fast nowadays and I personally think it is wrong. Not that wanting to learn something quickly is bad, but generally the method used to do it is not good, especially from junior. There is a lot of programming language nowadays and today we are going to talk about how to learn new programming language. First of all, you need to know why you want to choose this particular language. I mean, there's a lot of language and it is okay if you want to learn new things, but uh, it will be bad if you choose some technology that is no longer used today. And there is a lot of reason. For example, it can be for fun. You want to learn this language or maybe you want to build some app, but you need to have new skill in order to do it. Or it is very simple. Maybe you are just looking for a new job and yeah, you just want to learn something which can help you to find a job quickly in the market. I mean, it is okay, but uh, you therefore have to look at of what is done on the market in general, maybe some kind of bunch market and by reading article, by watching video. And when I'm talking about video, I'm not talking about technical video, of course. I mean, I'm talking about maybe video which can help you to understand props and cons about the technology you want to learn. And also it is very important to directly go on the website of the technology you want to read in order to understand what is the true purpose of this technology, for example. Let's talk about learning a resource. There is a lot of information today online and you can get lost very fast if you really doesn't know where to start and this is okay. So if I had to learn new programming language nowadays, I say hard, but I'm still learning. So if I had to learn a um, programming language nowadays, I will start with the official documentation and this is the very big and important point you need to know. Um, I know that a lot of people feel more comfortable with YouTube video or other kind of video making in other platform, but um, it is very important to know that by reading uh, the official documentation, you are going to have some information or maybe some details which are not available on YouTube or on other video. And this is really great point. You know, it is game changer. Uh, so the second point is build some kind of basic project, maybe weather app to do app or Sudoku. Even if you want, you can build your own portfolio. If it is front end framework or language you are learning, for example. And the last point is build, try to build a complete project. I know this can sound um, maybe fun for some of you guys, but it is very important because after that you can start by building your own project. If you got some idea, maybe you want to clone, I don't know, WhatsApp and try to build it, or maybe you, you are learning um, a backend language and you want to build a complex API with different kind of module, for example, and see how things are working. It's very important to try to build a complete uh, app it's uh, it's going to help you a lot and i know that uh, you already have some idea sometime but if you are uh, missing i don't know inspiration for example you can just go online and yeah type on google you are going to have different kind of idea and yeah you can just pick one and decide just to build this app for example because it's very important how long does it take to learn your language? So um, this question, maybe it is kind of question I was asking myself some years ago, but honestly, nowadays I really don't care about the duration. Maybe I'm not going to set uh, some deadline for myself or duration if I want to learn some programming language, for example. I don't know if it is based on my own experience, but um, I think if you want to learn something, you can just take your time to do it in order to not regret it later because you are going to skip some step and try just to watch some tutorial and copy paste. If you are those kind of person who really like to just copy paste tutorial every time without thinking about how things works, really, you are going uh, to regret it later. And yeah, that, that is the, that is normal. But, um, I really want to tell you that uh, it is very important to not rush if you want to learn something. 
just take your time to do it because even if you think like you got some basic about this specific programming language sometimes you can got like deeply uh, concept also in the language so you can also try to understand how things going or how things work and if you want to work with other people you got a lot of open source um, project online and you can also try to learn from them so uh, those are information i could give you if you want to learn new programming language so first of all try to read the documentation because it's very important and then try to build some basic project and after that choose just a big one that you are going to learn different kind of of things yeah and yeah that is all i think that uh this video really helped you and i hope you are going maybe to like it or to subscribe also in our channel and if you got some question don't hesitate to let in the comment section i will take my time it will be a pleasure to try to discuss with you thanks and see you